Comedic relief. Welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Hunting. This week, we won't be hunting again. I'm uh, hindered a little bit. I'm having to wear this this heart monitor, and I've got another couple days to wear it. Uh, well, another week to wear it. Uh, <clears throat> good note is I hadn't had two symptoms since I had it on, so uh, and they were minor. And I, I went, I'm trying to remember the date, uh, Thursday night, I went just to practice. Uh, I took Gypsy and, and Fury out right here at the house. Uh, made two trees and saw two coons, so I didn't think that was too bad. Both dogs got them a tree, and both dogs had them a coon, so that's a blessing in its own. But before I get started, and what I was going on, got a little bit of a, little bit of the word out of the Bible that I'm going to give you first. Give you something to think about this week. And this is Jesus talking to Peter. And he says in the chapter 14, verse 72, and at the second time the cock crew, and Peter called to mind the word that Jesus said unto him, Before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And when he thought thereon, he wept. How many times in our life as a believer of Christ do we deny him? And, and this doesn't have to be, you know, an act of persecution that's going to be held against us. But more or less embarrassment. How many times do you do that in your life? In your day-to-day -day basis? You know, we need to sit back and think about the times we do deny Christ. And why we deny Christ. Why we're ashamed of Christ. And I'm going to leave y'all to ponder on that. And ask yourself that, that, that important question. Why would you deny him? There should be no denial. If you know him, and you trust in his word, and you believe, and you believe in the promise, and you've accepted the promise of God's word, of everlasting life, then, then there should be no reason to ever deny him. Now we're all sinners and we all forget that Christian path we try to live on. We all fall. We all stumble. We all ask forgiveness and God forgives. And he picks you back up and puts you right back on the same path you were on. So. That's your verse for this week. So on, a, on a, a lighter note, I had plans this weekend to go to the Louisiana State PKC Championship. And uh, I didn't get off work in time and my strap vest rubs right across this heart monitor. And I am so scared that it's gonna come off because it was hot and you're definitely going to sweat. And they said not to do anything that's going to cause me to sweat profusely. 
so that it'll last the two the full the, the full two weeks. So it came down to the wire when I made a decision not even to go. Because if I went, I was going to want to tote this camera. Uh, what it also meant was a lot of my friends and acquaintances were there and I didn't get to go hang out with them. So I hope and pray that each and every one of you that was there that I didn't get to see uh, I hope y'all understand. So, and I apologize because there's not a, not a good. It, it was a good hunt from what I was told. So, uh, and with that being said, I, I, thanks to all the participants that showed up. I think they put 28 dogs in the woods. They had an open event and a and the championship, which is the top 16 dogs in the state. And. Uh, The final four was uh, pretty interesting from what I was told. And we got a new state champion by the name of Blueberry Wine and Mr. Jesse Lively. That's the 2023 Louisiana State PKC champion. Uh, congratulations to uh, Chad Broad. Uh, or Beard, uh, Landon Piro, and Casey Dooley for also placing in the final four. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay, I didn't bring anything out here with me to do this video, but I've already mentioned some new gear that I've had. And I've had this one for a little while since the Jarvis Humphreys hunt. I bought this after that hunt because that big Amazon pouch that I was wearing, it's just too much weight on my neck. So I had to find something to put it a little lower on my body. And I don't like a belt because the belt slides down and it ends up hindering you more than it helps you. So I got to looking and searched and searched and searched and did a lot of research before I purchased a vest. And I am familiar with Dan's products. I use a lot of Dan's products. So I bought a Dan's competition vest. It's got a thermal pouch, a Garmin pouch, a water bottle pouch, two big pouches to hold my batteries and my SD cards and thermocell cartridges and butane refills. It's got a phone to hold my, my uh, a phone pocket and then two squalor uh, lanyard loops. Um, I like that vest a lot. It has been a, a, a true help until I got this heart monitor. And uh, now it just worries me right here. So if I go, now I'm back to a belt. And in this heat, I'm trying to hunt my dogs and put some experience under them. And I'd like to hunt them six nights a week, seven nights a week, but that's not feasible so what do you do you got two young dogs you hunt them when you can all right there's nothing written in stone that says you got to hunt them five six days a week i don't have any competition plans for them as of yet because neither one of them look good enough to even go to a, a 30 dollar hunt but they're both still young dogs um i also broke down and bought me a new thermal I upgraded from the AGM 10 256 to the AGM 15 384. Uh, I like the 384 better. Not not down in the 10 256. It worked perfect. You know, it, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, the 15 15384 is just a lot crisper and clearer and you can see a little bit better especially this time of the year in these bushy trees um let's see what else have i come across oh my wife and i are in the 
process right now of uh, we're working on a prototype jacket. I'm not going to say we're going to sell jackets, but I bought a Dan's jacket that I, I liked some of the features and I did a lot of research for bought the Dan's jacket and uh, I'm changing some stuff up. So I'll have uh, a prototype done probably next week. It's three quarters of the way finished now. Uh, but then I'll have, we'll start working on the, the actual jacket. And it's just going to have some insulation and changing some stuff around on it. Making the pockets bigger because I have monster hands. And uh, you're just doing very little minor details that, you know, neither here nor there. But I am going to show you all that jacket. May even film that jacket being made so I know this one has been a, a complicated jacket that you know we're building right this minute because it's made out of uh, military tent material so the other jacket's gonna be made out of Kodura nylon uh, 1000 gram so it'll be waterproof and briarproof uh, This one should be briar proof and waterproof as well. But anyway, so we're just playing around with that right this minute. I'm trying to get myself well enough that way I can film the Louisiana State Youth Hunt that's coming up in May. I think it's on Memorial Day weekend. So uh, that ought to be a fun event. And. Uh, I guess up until then we're just going to be playing it by ear and there may be another one of these type videos coming in next week because uh, I'm just not able to tote this camera and, and, and go as much. I'm having to hunt off the ranger and you know uh, try not to sweat which in Louisiana this time of the year is a hard bargain so but my dogs need hunted and he didn't tell me I couldn't hunt, so he just said try not to get too sweaty. So that's what we're trying to do. So that's just some things coming up. Uh, I plan on doing a, I may do a, a gear dump video next week. Uh, show you all the new stuff. Uh, you know, go over some of the things we might be fixing to invest in. But, y'all don't forget your question this week, or your, you know, your verse to ponder upon. Because uh, I think that was important to put that in there. Uh, but other than that, we're doing pretty good. We're still, we're still in here. Comedic relief. Scared her off her house. Uh, anyway. Till next time. I thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, click that notification bell. And uh, remember, it's all about these dogs. Keep them in the woods. And remember to take the kid hunting with you. They need our help more than anything.